what we're working on today, guys, is we've been working on fairy tale attributes. So today for this morning's lesson, we're gonna take what we've learned on fairy tale attributes and we're gonna apply it to a cool thing with our recycled materials. They were really excited when we first got the equipment. Um, many of them felt like, it was almost like they were aliens. Um, the equipment was so new to them and so foreign and um, they didn't know what to make of it. Is this an old typewriter or something? There were DVD players and CD players and old projectors, um, things that the kids didn't even know what they were. Um, and originally they had to take them apart and research and figure out what they were. And then over the course of the last um, couple of months, the kids have continued to take them apart and use them for various projects from science to reading to writing. We got these old projectors and like our VR, RVCs and we got to um, take them apart and build something else. So you have to be creative problem solvers trying to figure out how you're going to incorporate this into your project. These pieces are old and how are we going to make something with it? Guys, this could be the peacock's end. I was thinking about drawing, putting paper across here and drawing the picture. The world-class education for me is preparing those students for not just third grade or fourth grade, but preparing them for life um, in, all, in all reality. Um, they need to be able to use critical thinking and they need to come up with creative solutions to problems. Um, they need to be able to think on their feet. Um, and they need to work together in collaborative groups. Instead of just sitting in our seats and doing work the whole day, we get to move around and collaborate with other kids. One eye done. I need to do the other eye. The funnest thing is we get to collaborate. Like every day, we get to make something with the materials from the maker space. Okay, that's good. That's good. What I'm doing in my classroom is a lot of collaboration, a lot of finding solutions to different things um, across the, the curriculum. We like have an idea, but we like don't know how to make it. So then we like get out an iPad or a computer to like search how to make it and how it works. They're already digital natives. They know how to use iPads. They know how to use laptops. I want them to be able to critically think about um, different aspects, to think outside the box. Um, and use items that they normally wouldn't think about. When this moves, the wings could go out. Yeah, like that. Okay. We all use everyone's idea and make something better than one little thing. In my classroom, um, the parents need to know that we're taking um, the four C's and world-class education and um, using that across the curriculum. But when we do collaborate, we come up with good ideas and we can put the ideas to, um, together to get a better idea. Then Take that part off this. and that part off and make the bridge. What we're working on in class is preparing their students for life. They're learning about global education, they're learning about financial literacy, um, and we're using all of that stuff in the classroom across the curriculum. I'd like to go to Africa and um, Japan and all of that that they use those critical thinking skills, that um, they are constantly aware of what's going on around them, not only in our neighborhood, but in the world. I think it's good to learn things that in other parts of the world, because if you just learn it in your classroom or here in like your own little neighborhood, um, you're not gonna know anything that's that way out there. So we're gonna use these to be a bridge? As the years have progressed, I've seen what a difference um, changing, having flexible spacing in your classroom, having flexible learning areas, um, being hands-on has made such a huge impact in my students. See, look, this opens. Teachers um, need to grow and progress every year just like their students do. Um, you can't be set in your ways and continue to teach the same thing you've always taught because our students need us to grow just like they do.